if I were the devil and I had one task and my job was to lead as many people to hell as possible, it would be so easy for me. I would use sex because I know that 99.9% .9 of people cannot control their sexual desires. Hey girl. It's Johanna again with God is Glamorous where we learn how to live our best lives through Jesus Christ and today we're talking about a really, really serious topic. We're talking all about the rise of STDs and why it's more important now than ever to wait until marriage to have sex and to pursue sexual purity. So I ran into a social media post where it said that over this past weekend, 42,000 people in Houston have been infected with some sort of STD. And I looked into it further and I wanted to see what exactly those STDs were. Coming in at number one was chlamydia, then gonorrhea, then syphilis, and then HIV. And y'all, God is not playing, y'all. Like God is telling us now more than ever that it is time to pursue sexual purity and wait until marriage to have sex. And one of the main reasons why he does that, aside from us honoring the Lord with our bodies, is because it's for our protection. One of the reasons why God tells us to wait until marriage is for our protection. There are certain things that come along with premarital sex that God does not want us to experience. Now, Number one, he doesn't want us to experience the effects of STDs. Some may be harmless. Sometimes you may have to take a quick antibiotic. Some STDs may even threaten your life. And it's getting down to the point where Satan is not playing fair and he is attacking bodies and wombs and fertility through STDs. And God wants us to wait until marriage to have sex so that we don't experience the devastating consequences that come with premarital sex. Proverbs chapter 18 verse 10 says, The name of the Lord is a strong tower, and the righteous run to it and are safe. When we are righteous, when we are being blameless and upright, we don't have to worry about being attacked by the enemy. We are not giving the enemy a foothold. Our breastplate of righteousness is a part of our spiritual armor that protects us from any satanic attacks from the enemy. But when we are living an unrighteous lifestyle, a sinful lifestyle, and having sex outside of marriage, we essentially open ourselves up to the attacks of the enemy. The surest way to be fully protected from any satanic or demonic attacks is to wait until marriage to have sex and to pursue sexual purity. The Bible says that sex should be for a husband and his own wife and a wife and her own husband. And we need, we need to continuously honor the Lord with our bodies. God is not playing as Christians. We need to be set apart. God is coming back for his church without a spot, a spot or a blemish. And we need to continue to walk blamelessly and rightly, righteously and be set apart from the world. The Bible says, do not be conformed by the standards of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. And God is calling us now more than ever to wait until marriage to have sex so that we can remain within the perfect confines of protection against any satanic or demonic attacks that may come from STDs that may come to attack our body. Number two, I don't know if it has just been me, but within the past 30 days, I have spoken to three women who have had cervical cancer scares. And these cervical cancer scares have come from a silent but deadly STD called HPV. I don't know if y'all know this or not, y'all, but the enemy is attacking wombs through STDs. And one of the reasons why we need to wait until marriage to have sex is because the enemy's goal is to steal, kill, and destroy. And the enemy is attacking wombs and fertility through STDs. There is a silent but deadly killer right now called HPV, which is causing a lot of women to have abnormal cells in their cervix, which ultimately leads to cervical cancer, which ultimately causes infertility. Even 
other, even other STDs like gonorrhea or syphilis, if they are left untreated, they can cause infertility. It causes scarring on the fallopian tubes, which leads to infertility. This is why it's so important to wait until marriage to have sex. The Bible says, don't you know that our bodies of the t are a temple of the Holy Spirit who lives within us? We are not our own. And the only person who should have access to your body is your husband one who has made a commitment to honor you before God and made a covenant with you and God. The one who has promised to be faithful to you. The moment that you let a man have access to your body, you are giving him access to your fertility. That is a huge deal. It is our job as women to keep our womb safe, to keep our fertility safe because the enemy is attacking wombs through STDs. The Bible says that we hold nations within our bodies. The Bible says that within our wombs are nations. When the Lord spoke to Rebecca in Genesis 25 and 23, he says, two nations are in your womb. Imagine how many nations are in your womb. Imagine how many people that the Lord wants to birth through you. Imagine how many nations that God wants to birth through your womb. As a woman, you need to protect your body and only allow your husband to have access to your body because the enemy's job is to steal, kill, and destroy. And if you are having sex outside of marriage, you have the possibility of having your womb attacked through an STD that can jeopardize your fertility. HPV leads to cervical cancer. It can lead to infertility, syphilis, gonorrhea, Chlamydia, it can scar your fallopian tubes. It can cause infertility. Do not let 10 to 50 minutes of pleasure cause you a lifetime of regret. It is not worth it. Just like the Bible says, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run to it and are safe. When you are righteous, when you are walking blamelessly and upright, you are safe and fully protected from the attacks of the enemy. So honor the Lord with your body and wait until marriage to have sex. In Ephesians chapter 6, verse 16, the Bible talks about protecting ourselves from the fiery darts of the enemy. Have you ever asked yourself, what exactly could be some fiery darts that the enemy may try to throw at me? STDs can be fiery darts that the enemy, that the enemy may try to throw at you. These are some of the weapons that the enemy may use to attack you. That's why the Bible says, take up the whole armor of God and the breastplate of righteousness, which is part of your spiritual armor, can protect you from every demonic attack of the enemy. It's time to stop being lukewarm. It's time to live righteously, live blamelessly, and wait until marriage to have sex because you have generations and nations inside of you and you need to protect your womb in your body and only allow your husband. Three, another reason why God calls us to wait until marriage to have sex is because all sin leads to death. All sin leads to death. The Bible says in Romans chapter 6 verse 23 that the wages of sin is death. And if you are having sex outside of marriage, it's all going to lead to death. Whether a physical death, a lot of women have had abortions because they had sex outside of marriage and they didn't want a baby. Or it may lead to a spiritual death because the Bible says that fornicators will not inherit the kingdom of God. That's why the Bible says, do not be conformed to the standards of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. The Bible says Satan comes as an angel of light and the world has made it seem like sex outside of marriage is okay. As long as it's consensual, as long as you are protected and use a condom and are safe and blah, 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 it's okay. But that's not what God says. The Bible says, that God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And when he tells us that sex is for marriage, whether he told us 2,000 years ago or whether he told us today, his word still stands. And we are called to honor God's word. The Bible says, Jesus tells us in John 14, 15, that if you love me, keep my commandments. There's a book called The Five Love Languages. And these are the love languages that people often use to express their love for one another. They were time, touch, 
words of affirmation, acts of service, and gifts. Although we may relate to these five love languages, God does not. God has a love language, and His love language is obedience. Jesus tells us in John 14, 15, that if you love me, keep my commandments. And so many Christians want to show God they love Him by time, going to church every Sunday, or acts of service, worshiping and praising God, or gifts, tithing and giving to the poor. These are not the love languages that God wants nor He cares about. The Lord wants our heart. He doesn't want our acts of service or our words of affirmation or our praise and worship. He wants our obedience. And God is calling us now more than ever to be obedient to His Word and honor the Lord with our bodies and wait until marriage to have sex. Jesus is coming back for his church without a spot or blemish. And the Bible tells us in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verses 9-10, through 10, Do not be deceived. Fornicators will not inherit the kingdom of God. And the enemy is deceiving Christians and billions of people all over this world into thinking that sex outside of marriage is okay, and it's not. I'm sorry, I have to admit, the enemy has a really, really easy job. The enemy has a really, really easy job. If I were the enemy, if I were the devil, and I had one task, and my job was to lead as many people to hell as possible, it would be so easy for me. I would use sex because I know that 99.9% .9 of people cannot control their sexual desires. And that's what the enemy is doing right now. He has one job, which is to steal, kill, and destroy, and to lead as many people to hell as possible. And the easiest way he's doing that is through sex. Do not be that gullible. Put on your breastplate of righteousness. Honor the Lord with your body. Experience that long suffering because it is long suffering, but the Lord is faithful and he says, do not grow weary in well-doing for at the proper time, we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. So if you are a Christian woman and you're like, all right, that's it. I'm tired of living a lukewarm lifestyle. I really want to pursue sexual purity. I want to honor the Lord with my body. I want to do this the right way. Then join my sexual purity group. I have a free five-day course, which you can access completely free. All I ask is that you sow a seed into this course. And I do have a monthly community as well as a 12-week coaching program. You can find all the links by clicking the links below. But other than that, thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments what you think, and I'll see you in another video. Stay glamorous.